Ja, gleich. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. All right. Good, good, good. Let me open the platform. Okay. Okay. Let me see who else is in, who else is in. Okay, give me one second, please. Hold on. Okay, thank you. Let's start. How was your weekend? Very hard, teacher. Why? What did you do? On um, Saturday, I have a, a meeting in my church in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so they, and Sunday, go to the church in the morning. In the afternoon, I have a party. In the church? Yeah, no, on the other place. Okay. Okay, hold on.
Hold on, please. What party was it? What kind of party was it? Jenny? Uh, it's a, uh, it's uh, my friends. Uh, the, the daughter, the daughter is a, uh, it's a, uh, a birthday. Uh, okay. And, um, and you, you, um, you go to church, you say Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Near your house? Yeah, it's on the night. Okay. All right, good. Maria Ortiz, how was how was your weekend? Okay. Um I'm very well. Um was very well um a little busy. Yeah, what did you do? Um, I am administrative assistant in elaboro las planillas de AFP y Seguro Social. Okay, but listen to my question. What did you do on the weekend? Um, oh my God. Um, I get up. Um, uh, six um, six o'clock um, and uh, go to my work and um, I arrive at my work on my house at um, 4 p.m and oh perdón perdón uh, I rest my house. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so what did you do on the weekend? You rested in your house. Yes. Thank you. And thank you for following me. Okay. Bye. Okay. What about you, Catherine? What did you do on the weekend? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Um, Are you sick? Yes. <laughs> oh no. Uh, um, my weekend in my house. Relax. <laughs> Se acuerdan lo que les dije el primer día de de clases de que el salvadoreño no gusta hablar por palabras. Catherine solo yeah. me dijo dos palabras. Me dijo el fin de semana, mi casa, relajar. Uh -huh. Pero fíjese que no es algo tan difícil. Solo le tiene que agregar un sujeto. I y un verbo. I stayed in my house. I stayed in my house. And relaxed. And relaxed. I'm, I'm relaxed. Yes. Porque lastimosamente en inglés no se puede contestar así. Hey, how was your weekend? Oh, nothing. Okay. Nothing. House. Eat. <laughs> en español, bueno, español salvadoreño sí creo que nos entendemos. ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana? Nada. La casa. Comer. Oh, que okay. te quedas en la casa y no hiciste nada y comiste. Mm. But in English, it's like, what? Hmm. All right. Uh, Ana Lopez, what what did you do? Hello, teacher. Hello. I, on weekend, I stayed with, in my house. Mm -hmm. I washed my clothes and clothes 
um, of my daughter to help um, in her house, in her English classes. Okay. On Sunday, is, uh, helped um, to my daughter um, study. Ay, porque está en exámenes, no sé cómo decirle eso. Ok, ¿cómo? Eh, el domingo ayúdale a mi hija a estudiar porque está en exámenes, pero no sé cómo decírselo. My daughter is in exams. Ah, my daughter is exams. <laughs> my daughter is Exam. Okay, yeah, my daughter is in exams. Okay. All right, Karen, what did you do? Hello, teacher. Hi, Karen. What did you do on the weekend? Oh, my, my weekend, I did nothing. I was at home doing business. Doing business, okay, good. Doing business. Hello? Yes. Doing business, oh, okay. What business? Hola, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, what business? Um... Hacer limpieza, ordenar, lavar trastes, ropa, hacer okay. comidas. Ah, entonces eso no es business. Business es negocios. Mm -hmm. oh. Entonces, you stayed home doing house chores. Oh. Oh, house, okay. ha house chores. Okay. So, Beida, hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? Fine. A little tired and stressing. Why? What did you do? <laughs> With my co-worker. She got to the new work. Okay. So she take me the the uh, the work ella me entregará su área she is giving me her area she giving me to area her area her area area yes that i work in that Okay. Oh, okay. That was stressing, no? And see, a little stressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, class. So remember last week we studied about comparatives and superlatives. Catherine, do you remember what we studied Friday? Uh, repeat, teacher, please. Do you remember Friday what we studied? Yes. What did we do Friday? Um, uh, present continuous and future and be going to. Yes. So um, can you give me an example of present continuous and future? And future. Um, I... I am watching a movie uh, tomorrow in the night. Excellent. I am watching a movie tomorrow night. What is present continuous? I am watching a movie. What is future? Tomorrow night. Excellent. Oh, excellent. Okay, let's see the video.
Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Identify the two ways to express a future the conversation as many times as you need to. Hands. Part A. Listen and practice. Okay, look at number one. It says, Lynn, what are you doing tonight? What we did Friday class, um, we were practicing present continuous to express future. And it's very, 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 very simple. But la regla número uno, lo que les dije a todos, que esto no existe en español. Si lo van a traducir, se van a quedar, what? Present continuous to express future. Se dice una oración en present continuous. I am drinking coffee. Tomorrow night. Ah, tomorrow night is the future. Oh, I can say I am going to drink coffee tomorrow night. It's no problem. Eso es también simple future. But I am drinking coffee tomorrow night. It's simple future. I'm sorry, present continuous to express future. Y lo mismo la pregunta, what are you eating tomorrow? What are you eating for lunch? What are you watching after class? But remember, you need one word or something that expresses future. Let me see that the other video. Okay, now, aquí está lo que les digo. Future with present continuous and going to plus ing this is the form when using be going hi okay, listen so to this. are you ready to talk about future plans good for you i want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to page 101 exercise 3 grammar focus future with present continuous and be going to with present continuous what are you doing tonight i'm going to a soccer match are you doing anything tomorrow no i'm not with be going to plus verb what is she going to do tomorrow she's going to work until five are they going to go bowling yes they are as you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Example, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, 
plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus be plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay, class, so this is very easy. So what is future? Future is not necessarily like future, like de aquí a 10 años, no. Future is immediate too. For example, after class is future, no? In this moment, we are in class, but the class is going to finish. So after class is future. So Jenny, what are you doing well, first of all, entienden. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Voy a tomar eso como si. Después no me digan, no entiendo. Porque van muchas veces le voy preguntando y no sé si me están oyendo o no sé si me falla mi micrófono. Okay, so Jenny, let's do one. Yeah. Let's do one in simple future. What are you going to do after class? I I working on my platform. Okay, no, but in simple future, say I am going to work. Ah, I, I am going to work on my flat, plas, plas, Very, platform. Platform. Okay. Very good. Now, listen to this. What are you doing after class? I am I am going to I am working. I, I sorry. I am working. I am working to my platform after the class. Good. I am working on my platform after class. Very good. Catherine, what are you eating for breakfast tomorrow? Uh, I am eating um, eggs with. Um, uh, Brack pan. ¿Cómo se produce? With bread. Bread. Eggs with bread. With bread. With bread. Yes, I am eating eggs with bread tomorrow. I am eating eggs with egg bread, with bread. tomorrow. Very good. Listen. So. Excellent. Now let's do it in simple future. What are you going to eat for breakfast tomorrow? Uh, otra vez. No, pero in simple future. What are you going to eat for breakfast tomorrow? Ah, okay. I am eating. I am going to eat. Ah, sorry. I am going to eat. Eat mm -hmm. with bread tomorrow. Exactly, good. Because remember, los dos say igual, es lo mismo. But one is simple future, and what the other is present continuous. 
to express future. Okay. Anna. Anna, what, what are you doing? What are you eating for lunch tomorrow? I am eating, um, eating chicken for lunch tomorrow. Excellent. What are you going to eat for lunch tomorrow? I am going to eat in chicken. I'm going to eat. I, I'm going to eat chicken for lunch tomorrow. Excellent. Yeah, that's that's it. All right, Maritza, are you there? Yes, teacher. Maritza. Okay. What are you doing? For Mother's Day? Mm. I, I stay in, in my house for May, mm, May Mother's Day. Very good. What are you going to do for Mother's Day? I am going um, staying my I, I am going to Mother's Day in my house. I'm going to stay in my house in Mother's Day. Okay. Repeat. I am going to In my house. I am going to stay in to my stay house. Stay in my house the Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. Okay, Karen, what are you doing Saturday? Um, Saturday. Yes. I am going. I am going to in Saturday. Um, nothing. I stayed in my house. So I am staying in my house Saturday. Repeat. So I am staying in my house on Saturday. Good. So Veda. What are you going to do after class today? I am going to work in my platform. All right. OK, good. Let me see what's next here. OK. Hi. So are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen we planned actions in the future. Wait. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus future with present continuous and be going to with present continuous what are you doing tonight I'm going to a soccer match are you doing anything tomorrow no I'm not with be going to plus verb what is she going to do tomorrow she's going to work until five are they going to go bowling yes they are as you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. 
We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Example, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus be plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Okay, look at this here. That time expressions. Okay. Hold on. Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Okay, look. These are time expressions. Tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. But there are more. Can you think of more? So all these expressions express a future. Look, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. Can you think of more expressions? Next month. Next month. Next year. Next year, on Christmas, on your birthday. A Maritza, creo que le dije, on Mother's Day. On um, Father's Day? On yes. Father's Day, yes. Anything that is future. Okay. Okay, so. Complete the invitations with present continuous use as future. Look, present continuous. Use the pronoun and the verb. So what tonight would you like to go out? What is the question? What are you doing? No, in present continuous. What are you doing? Exactly. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Number two, you do anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are you, are you doing? Excellent, yes. Yes. All right, number three, we blank 
Have friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? We are having. Y el B teacher es el R. R, because it's plural. Uh, because look, it's we. Are having. Number four, blank, you stay in town next week. Do you want to go for a hike? Are you staying? Are you staying? Good, are you staying? Part two, it says instructions. Complete the response with going to. Use verbs in brackets. Instructions. Complete. Complete. Yes, lo estaba leyendo en inglés. Complete las respuestas. Uh -huh. I am going Na to be. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good, yes, I am going to be. I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go out on Saturday. Well, my father is going to visit. My father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. Sorry. I'm going to work. I can't i'm going to work overtime yes i'm going to work i'm going to work overtime tonight how about tomorrow night can we go to a late show i i'm going to stay Yes, I'm going to stay at the office till seven. Good. See? All right, they're all good. So let's see what's next. Another video. And this is Can I Take a Message? Eso se usa mucho cuando llaman. Bueno, hoy ya no, porque cuando hoy le llaman a uno directo al, al celular, pero si alguien es recepcionista, secretaria, o contesta el teléfono a la oficina y no es para usted. Es muy común decir, no, él no está. No, he is not here. No, she is not here. Can I take a message? So let's listen to this video. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Uh -uh. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so let's see here. Los verbos decir y pedir son presentados en la conversación entre las personas hablando por teléfono. Okay, let's see. Hello everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you I'm sorry, Esther, next. Entiende la diferencia between ask and tell. What is what is uh, what is tell? Decir. Decir, good. And ask. Preguntar. Okay, es uno preguntar o pedir. Ejemplo, go ask. For permission. Is 
¿Se acuerdan cuando pedían permiso a sus padres? Ask your mother and father for permission. Mm. Okay. Ask for help. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen to the difference. Aquí está telling us. Mm. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise 8, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Nice. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, Please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. So, when you say, please stop, it's a, it's a, que es? Es una orden, right? Please stop. Okay, so okay. Uh, si digo, can you please stop is a question. Yes. No teacher, no understanding. Okay, imagine, imagine you're listening to music in this moment, Jenny. I say, oh, yeah. Jenny, Jenny, please stop the music. ¿Qué le dije? Que detenga la música. ¿Fue pregunta o orden? Una orden. Ok. Uh -huh. Aunque fue una forma polite. Yeah. Uh -huh. I say, ok, Jenny, please stop the music. So I told Jenny to stop the music. Ahí está tell. I told Jenny to stop the music. Ahora, Jenny. Can yeah. you please stop the music? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Now it's a question. Okay. So I ask Jenny if she can please stop the music. Mm -hmm. Hoy le pedí a Jenny si por favor puede parar la música. You see when it becomes a question? I so so teacher. Deme una orden. Uh, 
please, uh, please off, off, off the light. Please turn off the light. Repeat. Yeah. Please repeat. Please turn off the light. Please turn off the light. Good. Es una orden. Voy a llamar la pregunta. Um, tell. No, can you please? Ah, can you please turn off the light? ¿Qué es la diferencia de la uno y la dos? The, the first word in the, in the statement. Okay, good. But in the first sentence, usted me dijo. En la segunda me lo pidió. Exacto. So that's the difference. Mm. Please turn on, uh, please turn off the light. You told me. Me lo dijo. Mm -hmm. Can you please turn off the light? Me lo pidió. She asked me. O sea, la única diferencia es can you. Could okay. You? Por ejemplo, ya por gusto, pero a Karen y a Sobeida, ¿cómo les pedí? Can you please turn on your camera? Can you please turn on your... No, los dos les dije, please turn on your camera. Please turn on your camera. Can you please turn on your camera? No, mentiras. Pero a las dos se los pedí y se lo... ¿Cómo es? Se los dije y se los pedí. Pero me entiende, ok, un ejemplo. Si uno no usa una palabra de pregunta como can you, could you, would you, está diciendo, está dando una orden. Aunque se oye educadamente. Imagine I say, uh, Catherine, stand, uh, please stand up. O, okay. y, si, y si quiero, no soy educado. Catherine, stand up. ¿Me entienden? Orden, pero si, si, les, si le quieres una pregunta, Catherine, can you please stand up? No. Yes, yes or no. So, imagine, para dejar un mensaje. No, no está, no está el presidente. Entonces le digo, please tell the president to call me. ¿Qué dije? Por favor, dile al presidente que me llama. Ajá, uh -huh. good. Orden, right? Ahora, y si lo quiero hacer pregunta, can you please tell the president to call me? Yes? Yes, teacher. Generalmente los superiores nunca preguntan, solo dan la orden, right? Superiores como las mamás, los papás de uno. Mm. Mm. Es bien raro oír una mamá decir, hijo, ¿podrías venir, por favor? Entonces, hijo, ¿qué? ¿Cómo que qué? ¿Vení? Son, come here. Pero cuando le preguntan si ya hice el oficio. Ah, entonces, pero ahí, ahí está preguntando, no está pidiendo. Es que esa es la diferencia de preguntar y pedir. ¿Me entiende? Ok. Buen punto ahí, Catherine. Um, ask en inglés significa preguntar o pedir, como les dije. Ok. ¿Cuándo es preguntar? Como lo que dijo Catherine. Um, did you clean? Limpiaste. Did you go? Fuiste? Yes? What is your name? What is su nombre? Esas son preguntas. Pero cuando uno está pidiendo, ¿qué es la diferencia? Que usamos can, could. Can you go? Can you stop? Es una orden. Realmente uno está pidiendo, pero en una forma más amable. es como se usa come para preguntar ok cuando van a, a comer a un McDonald's y van viendo que no les pusieron ketchup y regresan al 
a la cajera. ¿Qué les dicen? ¿Les van a ir a preguntar o a pedir? Pedir. Ok, good. Entonces, can you please give me ketchup? A pedir, ketchup. right? Yes. Perdón, solo me quedé confundida. ¿Cuándo es una orden? Ok, listen. Imagine I'm in McDonald's and they didn't give me ketchup. Yes? Okay. I sit down and, hey, where's my ketchup? Oh, man. I stand up and I go to the cashier and they say, can I help you? Yes. Give me ketchup, please. ¿Qué dije? Dame ketchup, por favor. Okay, eso es una orden. Give me. Direct. Directo, yes. Cuando si es pedir. Digo, perdón, si yo le digo, can you give me ketchup? Hoy se lo estoy pidiendo. Ok. Porque no, si se si analiza, no lo, estoy, no lo estoy diciendo qué hacer. Yes. Ahí le estoy o sea, pidiendo. La primera es una orden. Yes. Es un, ajá. La segunda la estoy pidiendo. Exactly. And the only difference is that you say can, could, will, would. Oh. Cuando vamos a la tienda, el salvadoreño generalmente pedimos. Y hay unos que dicen de un solo van. ¿Qué quiere? Deme dos churros y un aceite y una libra de frijol. That's direct, yes? Give me beans, cookies, and a soda. O me podría dar, ahí vamos a pedir. Can you please give me sugar, soda, beans? Okay, do you understand? Yes. So the only the, the only difference is can you, could you, would you? Ahí están pidiendo. Si quitamos can, would estamos ordenando. Okay. Catherine. Yes, teacher. Cuando quiere un beso a su novio, ¿cómo le dice? Uh, se lo pide o se lo exige o, o se lo ordena <risa> y digo Catherine porque uh, creo que a pesar I, de ma, eh, Jenny es la única que no es soltera I give oh, you, tell your, you tell your boyfriend <risa> hey give me a kiss give me a ¿cómo? Repeat. give give me, me, a, give me give a kiss me a, Give me a kiss. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque soy bien feo pedirle un beso a su novio. ¿Me podría dar un beso? Can you give me a kiss? <laughs> porque le da opción al no. Yes, no. <laughs> Pero si le dice, hey, give me a kiss, es dame un beso. Ok, it's so that, yes. Sorry, teacher. It correctly says, could you drink water, please? Yes. It's correctly? Yes. Okay. Imagine you're a doctor. <laughs> yeah. And you tell your patient, could you drink water, please? Mm. Or like, imagine you're a dentist. Uh -huh. so, okay. Could you drink water, please? ¿Qué, qué dijo ahí? Tome, un, tome agua, por favor. No dijo eso. Podría tomar agua. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, no, hay una gran diferencia ahí. Tome agua, por sí. favor, a podría tomar agua. Por Ajá. Mm. Tome agua, por favor, es orden. Ok. Por eso es que yo les digo, siempre es como en tono de superior. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Cuando van al doctor o algo así, el doctor yo solo les dice... Un ejemplo, si le va a hacer un chequeo, uh, despistas ahí, por favor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Bien claro que se podría desvestir, por favor. No, uh -huh. es solo. O sea, o quítese la camisa o, o dése vuelta, abra la boca, por favor. Ya, yeah, bien solo, si notan así, 
open your mouth, please. Y hay uno que suerte dicen, please. Hay otro, open your mouth. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, open your mouth. Please. Los doctores generalmente siempre dan orden en consulta. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, es lo que yo digo, mamá, las mamás y los papás con los hijos. Cuando mandan a su hijo a la tienda, ¿cómo le dicen? Hijo, ¿podrías ir a la tienda y comprarme frijoles? Oh. Como le dicen en solo, hey, go to the store and buy me eggs. Mama, I go. <laughs> yes. All right, that, that's the difference. Say, I'm sorry, tell and ask. In English, ask va para dos. That's the only difference, okay? So let me see what's next here. Dun, 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 dun. So remember, the, the difference is direct. Empezamos con el verbo. Give me. Buy. Go. Eat. For example, imagine, um, imagine Ana Maria is sick. Achu, achu. Ana Maria, take. ¿Cómo se llama? Tabsin. No, Tapsin, ¿verdad? Yes. Take Tapsin, Ana María. O, Ana María, could you take Tapsin? <laughs> Pero se ve raro pedírselo. ¿Podría tomar Tapsin? No. Mm -hmm. Ah, hoy con la mascarilla, ¿la gente ordena o lo pide? Cuando alguien no la anda puesta. Pide. Ajá. Depende, depende, porque a veces seguridad es algo turbio. A veces uh -huh. la, put your mask on, please. Oh, could you please put your mask on? Okay. Oh, so let me see. You. Let me see what's next here. Look at the following messages. Well, you know what? We can we can start this tomorrow. Go ask and would tell. Please ask would and yeah, we'll do this tomorrow. Sí, creo que si terminamos mañana tendríamos martes y miércoles para repasar todo como free activities. So it's good. Okay. So what are you doing after class? Okay, yeah. What are you doing after class? I am working on my, my platform after the class. All right, good. I'm working on the platform after class. Good. I what? am eating mm -hmm. my dinner. I am eating dinner. Really? You're eating dinner after class, Sobeda? Yes, teacher. Why? Because I I went late at my house. I came late. I came late. Yes. Oh man. What are you eating for dinner? I am eating egg and beans. Y plátano que no sé cómo se dice. Platanes. Platanes. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Okay, class, and thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have, a very, ha have a very good night. Bye-bye. Thank you so bye -bye. much. Bye-bye.